Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a, another Audi skincare video. I haven't done one of these in a long while, purely for the fact that there hasn't been anything that interesting or that's caught my eye specifically. But this week Audi released a collection of pink clay products and this for sure did catch my eye. So I wanted to share this with you guys while you can still get your hands on it. So there is three products within this range. There's a hot cloth cleanser, an exfoliator and a mud mask. And the exfoliator and the mud mask are actually very similar to the Australian brand Sand and Sky. You may be familiar with this brand on Instagram. They definitely have a cult following and their products are really eye-catching as well. So I've never actually tried anything from that brand. They just do the exfoliator and the pink clay mask and the pink clay they source from Australia which is where their brand's from so I can't actually compare these products with them but what I can do is share with you the Audi dupes that I picked up including the hot cloth cleanser and I'll also do a demo on each obviously I can only tell you my first impressions on these I do need to continue using these to share with you my final thoughts and what I really think on each product but I did just want to get this video out so you can still get your hands on these products while they're still available. I know Audi do release new sort of special buys every Thursday and they're only usually around for a week but some stores do still stock these products if they have the stock available. Now you're probably wondering why pink clay is good for the skin and how it can benefit you. So I'm just going to read to you what it says on the Audi leaflet where it shares all about the pink clay products that are available. Pink clay is the new way to brighten your complexion. It cleanses the skin and helps remove dead skin cells. It can be used on dry, sensitive or oily skin and it will leave your skin feeling soft and revitalized. Okay, first off we have the Pink Clay Hot Cloth Cleanser which is a twist on the original version. You guys know I love the original Audi Hot Cloth Cleanser. I've spoken about it many a times before and I will link a video if you want to know more about the original but this one retails for $3.99 it comes with a muslin cloth and you get 200 mils of product in here and I absolutely love all of the packaging it's just so pretty on the box of this one it says this is for all skin types and actually all of these products are cruelty free as well and this is specifically formulated to gently cleanse and exfoliate with the help of the exfoliating muslin cloth and it has cocoa butter pink clay australian kakudu plum and extracts of bamboo macadamia mangosteen and pomegranate also this rich formulation effectively removes makeup and gently cleanses revealing naturally healthy looking skin. Now Sand and Sky don't actually do a hot cloth cleanser so I can't compare it to that but this is a wonderful dupe for the Liz Earl one especially the original version and I'm really excited to try this one just because it has the pink clay in and it's something a little bit different. This is what the pink clay hot cloth cleanser looks like inside. It's exactly like the original version the only difference being this has the coral packaging on it and then as I mentioned you get a muslin cloth as well so I am going to use both and I'm going to do a double cleanse with this the first cleanse to remove my makeup and the second one is just to make sure I've got everything off my face and also to deep cleanse the skin okay let's get into cleansing I've just got about a one pound piece of cleanser on my hand and actually first impression this smells really really nice I'm just gonna go straight in with this all over the face onto my dry skin to melt away my makeup I 
I'm actually just going to take a bit more to remove my makeup. So for my first cleanse, I do think this removed my makeup pretty well, but I am going to go back in now with a second cleanse just to make sure everything is definitely off my face. Okay, first impressions, much like the original, this has a beautiful, buttery, creamy texture. It smells beautiful and it removes my makeup well. Also, this was nice and gentle and it didn't irritate my skin. I do love the fact with these Audi hot cloth cleansers that you not only get a muslin cloth with them, but you also get a really decent amount. So you can be generous when cleansing in the evening or morning. Next is the La Cura Pink Clay Exfoliating face scrub this retails for 2.99 for 100 mils of product and the sand and sky one is 34 pound 90 for 100 mils again on the sand and sky website but i also found it a little bit cheaper on beauty bay for 29 pound 50 so there's definitely a big price difference between the two. Now this Audi one doesn't have exactly the same ingredients as the Sand and Sky one. If you'd see my Audi Mud Mask review comparing it with the Glam Glow one then you'll know that a lot of the ingredients were virtually identical but with these products they're not exactly the same but the ones that are the same are the pink clay obviously the Audi version it's not Australian pink clay whereas the sand and sky one is they also both have bamboo in but I would say the sand and sky one definitely has a lot more natural ingredients in it so I'm just going to read to you what it says on the Audi one so it's formulated with extracts of Australian kakudu plum bamboo, macadamia, mangosteen and pomegranate and it says this dual action exfoliating face scrub and mask absorbs oil and helps to refine pores. Pasta beads provide a gentle physical exfoliation for softer and smoother skin. In just two weeks this product will help improve the condition of your skin and it's suitable for normal skin. On the front of the tube of the pink clay exfoliating scrub, it says that it's refining and mattifying. And then on the back, it says directions for use is apply to cleanse wet skin and massage for 30 seconds, then rinse off with warm water to use as a scrub. Alternatively, leave on for five minutes to use as a mask, then rinse with warm water and pat dry. For best results, use twice per week. So I am just gonna use this as an exfoliator today, just because I am using the actual pink clay mask as well. But I will test this out as a mask and I will keep you updated with regards to that one. Right, I'm just gonna wet my skin first of all. Then I'm gonna pour about a pea-sized amount and this has got a beautiful pink colour and then it has these tiny black beads in it. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just gonna put this all over the face. This smells really nice too, just like the hot cloth cleanser. It's got the same scent to it. I think it may be the plum actually. Okay, for me, this is quite a rough exfoliating scrub. I tend to use more glycolic and liquid exfoliators or peeling pads these days. I do use a rough exfoliator now and again, 
but I would say this is probably not the best for sensitive skin and I personally probably wouldn't use this more than once a week but I'm going to continue using it and I will keep you updated. Finally we have probably the most significant product within the collection and this is the pink clay mask. So this Lacura one retails for $5.99 for 60 grams of product, whereas the Sand and Sky one is $39.90 for 60 grams on their website. And then on the Beauty Bay website, it's $33.95, so a little bit cheaper on there. So the Pink Clay Exfoliator definitely looks very similar to the Sand and Sky one, whereas the Clay Mask, the only difference with this one, they've actually put the mask in a blue jar and the Sand and Sky one is in the coral pink. So it's still very, very similar visually and also you get a little mask brush just like the Sand and Sky one as well which is brilliant and this is actually really handy for travel if you just want to take a sachet of mud mask away with you and you prefer applying it with a brush. Ingredients wise they both have the pink clay in it's just the Sand and Sky one has the Australian pink clay. Then the other things that are the same are they both have benton tonight in aloe bar bendiness I think that's how you say it but the aloe in the Audi one is actually quite far down the ingredients list whereas on the sand and sky website the aloe is the fourth ingredient on the list what I think I'm going to do actually is list the ingredients that are both the same in each down below so you can go and check them out so hopefully that will be more helpful if you do want to go on the sand and sky website and compare both lastly i'll just read to you what it says about this pink clay mask on the box it says the Lacura purifying pink clay mask is formulated with extracts of exotic australian kakudu plum and witch hazel designed to help draw out impurities and refine the pores for a clearer and brighter complexion. Right, so now that I have double cleansed and exfoliated, I'm gonna go in with the clay mask. My face is actually feeling a little bit dry after that exfoliator, so I will definitely be rehydrating my skin after the mask as well. One thing I wanted to show you with this mask is it's hygienically sealed inside as well with this top as well as the lid. I'm not sure if I mentioned that this jar is glass as well. This is what it looks like inside. It's actually very similar to the other mud mask that I tested out, the charcoal one. It looks like it's got the same consistency to it. It's just pink instead. So I I am going to use the tiny little brush that it comes with and I'm actually just going to take some off of the lid not to waste it. This has a slight scent to it but nothing overpowering. I really like this brush, it's um, super easy to use. I think I prefer it to my longer brush that I usually use with clay masks. Right, so it says to leave this on for 10 minutes, so I'm going to set a timer and I will see you in 10 minutes. Now one thing I do really like about this mask is how quick it dries down and the fact that you don't need that much time to incorporate it within your skincare routine. It does say to use this one to two times a week but honestly right now my skin does feel really taut and tight and drying but I think that's a general thing with clay masks anyway because they are detoxifying the skin and drawing out impurities so for me personally I would probably only use this once a month 
you guys know I love my hydrating sheet mask but I am going to continue using this whole collection and incorporating these pink clay products within my skincare routine so I will keep you posted on all of these. I think for me personally the standout product of this whole collection was the hot cloth cleanser. This was for sure my favourite just because of how it feels on the skin and the fact that it removes makeup and exfoliates as well with the muslin cloth. So I really hope you found this first impression helpful. If you do decide to snap up any of these products, definitely get them within the next week before they're all gone. And let me know in the comments down below what you decide to get or if you've already picked up any of these, what did you enjoy the most? And also subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video next week. I hope you're all having a wonderful long Easter weekend and I will see you then. Take care, bye.